Is it possible for you with your amateur backyard telescope to see the flag on the moon? And a lot of people and especially amateur astronomers and beginner stargazers all have this same question. And this video, I'm going to go into detail on whether or not this is possible. And if your little telescope can't see it, are there telescopes out there big enough to spot the flag? Well, as you all probably know, the moon is our closest celestial neighbor and has been a subject of fascination and exploration for centuries. But before we answer this question, let's consider the size of this flag. The flag planted during the Apollo missions measures about 3 feet or 0.91 meters wide and 5 feet or 1.52 meters tall. Now, let's imagine the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Approximately 238,855, and interestingly enough, this number is actually increasing. And if you watched my last video, I go through this topic in detail, so make sure to check that out. But that number in kilometers is even bigger, about 384,400 kilometers away from Earth on average. And now we get down to the real answer. Even with a powerful telescope, the flag size relative to the vast distance makes it incredibly challenging to see from Earth, if not impossible, and it is definitely impossible with a tiny little telescope that you probably want to look at the moon with. The resolving power of a telescope depends on its aperture, the diameter of its primary lens or mirror. Even the most advanced telescopes on Earth have limitations when it comes to resolving objects on the moon's surface. And a common question is, well, if we can't even see the flag on the moon, which is our closest celestial neighbor, how are telescopes out there able to resolve distant galaxies billions of light years away. Well, this really comes down to the comparative size of these two objects. You see, although the flag on the moon is so much closer to Earth, it is only about three feet wide and it does not emit any of its own light. And these distant galaxies, although they're billions of light years away, they are also millions of light years across, emitting tons of their own light from all the stars inside of the galaxy. That is the reason why we can see those galaxies and not the flag. Now, going back to the main question, the best telescopes on Earth have an aperture of around 10 meters, like the Keck Observatory in Hawaii. Despite their impressive size, they still cannot resolve objects as small as the Apollo flags on the lunar surface. But this telescope is on Earth, so maybe a telescope that's in space above our atmosphere, orbiting even closer to the moon, like the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb, would be able to resolve the flag. Well, the Hubble telescope has a diameter of about 2.4 meters. This means that the angular resolution would be approximately 0 0.0000025 radians. To understand what size of object a telescope with such angular resolution could distinguish on the lunar surface, imagine a right angle triangle, where one of the legs is the distance from the Earth to the moon, and the adjacent angle is equal to the telescope's angular resolution. To calculate the minimum distinguishable size of an object on the moon, we need to find the length of the other leg based on the given values. By plugging all these values into the formula, we get a minimum distinguishable size of an object on the moon the Hubble Space Telescope is able to see at 96.1 meters. And if you remember, the flag is under 1 meter. And even though it can distinguish something that's 96 meters across, it's imperative to grasp that even at this scale, such an object would merely appear as a solitary pixel in an image captured by the Hubble. And the James Webb Space Telescope is no different. Another factor to consider is the lunar environment. The harsh conditions on the moon, extreme temperatures, micrometeorite impacts, and the absence of an atmosphere have likely caused the flags to deteriorate over time. They may have been bleached by the intense ultraviolet radiation from the sun or damaged by the moon's abrasive dust. During the Apollo 11 mission, Astronaut Buzz Aldrin reported that the flag appeared to be knocked over when they launched back to Earth, likely due to the exhaust from the lunar module's ascent stage. Subsequent missions placed the flags farther from the landing site to prevent this. And as just a fun fact to add in, if you actually wanted to see some image of the US flag, you would need a telescope with a diameter of 220 meters. Keep in mind that the largest telescope in the world has one of 10. But despite all these challenges about spotting the flag or the lunar landing sites from Earth, some of the spacecraft orbiting the moon have captured very faint details 
of some of the Apollo landing sites while they were orbiting the moon, but I'm not totally sure if the flag would be visible. So in conclusion, seeing the flag on the moon with your telescope or any telescope on the face of this earth right now is just impossible. But despite this, we are still able to capture images of galaxies billions of light years away and discover secrets of the distant universe. If you enjoyed this short episode, make sure to subscribe as we continue to explore the wonders and mysteries of the universe.